So let us look at the first section of looking at the rules of differentiation. All right, the first couple of rules we've got here, and I'll talk through them. The derivative of a constant is zero. Now, if you think of a constant function, of the graph of a constant function, for example, y equal to 5, that's a constant function. You can see visually that the gradient of the tangent line everywhere on that curve is zero. Now, all these rules can be proven with the definition of the derivative, which we looked at in the previous videos. So be aware of that. I'm not going to prove them formally, but you can prove all of them using the definition of the derivative, because that's the basis of everything. But right, the next one, the derivative of a constant times a function is the same as a constant times the derivative of a function. The third rule we have here is that the derivative of the sum of two functions is the same as the sum of the derivative of those two functions. And the last one is the power rule. For n, any real number, x to the power n's derivative is n times x to the power n minus 1. Very convenient. So we're first going to focus on this. We are going to start looking at the rules and the different types, what we can do with differentiation, just using power functions like these and functions of this type, you'll see shortly. And then later on, we're going to introduce the derivatives of different functions, for example, logarithmic, exponential, trigonometric, and so on. So that is coming. So let's use that. 2 minus 1 over 2 x. Now to find that derivative, whenever you have to find a derivative of a function, first look at the function and see, can't I rewrite it in a more user-friendly way? Because my rule I have is that the derivative of x to the power n is n x to the power n minus 1. So I want it in the form x to the power n. There's no x to the power n here, but I can rewrite it to make it 2 minus a half x to the power minus 1. That should work. Now it's in the right format. I've got a constant, the difference between two functions, so I can use my rules. So the derivative of this function, and watch, I'm not just putting an equal sign next to a function, because a function is not necessarily equal to its derivative. It's only rare cases when that happens. So I'm writing, I'm getting the derivative, I'm using my chosen notation. That is 0 minus. Now I've got a half minus 1 times minus a half, so I've got a half x to the power, what do I do with my exponent? I subtract 1 from it, so it's minus 2. So that's the derivative of my function. Now you can rewrite it as 1 over 2x squared. Don't necessarily have to, it depends how you prefer your answers written. All right, the next one, now we've got a root. So I'm going to rewrite that as 2t minus t to the power 1 over 4. Now I can find the derivative nicely. The derivative is 2t to the power 1, so it's 2t to the power naught, so it's just 2, minus a quarter t to the power subtract 1, minus 3 quarters. Quarter minus 1 is minus 3 quarters. All right, next one, we're going to tidy it up first. p over 2, separate the constants and the variables, so it's a half p minus 2p to the power minus 2. I can find that derivative, a half p to the power 1, the derivative is just a half, times the 1, reduce the exponent with 1, and I've got p to the power naught, which is just 1, so we stick to a half. Minus 2 times minus 2 is plus 4, p to the power, make the exponent 1 less, minus 3. The last one here, f of x, is x to the power 4 minus 3 divided by x. Now, that's a complicated function, definitely not in the form of the rules we've seen in the previous page. But we can simplify that. I'm divided by, dividing by x. So, one, I'm dividing by a single term. So, that's the same as x cubed minus 3 over x, which is x cubed minus 3 x to the power minus 1. Now, we can find the derivative. So, the derivative of x here is... 3x squared plus 3x to the power minus 2. And that is how we find derivatives using this first set of rules. There's a lot of rules coming, so get ready for it.